We turn now to the Hawaiian island of Maui, where a devastating hurricane-fueled wire file has killed at least 55 people. The catastrophic fire destroyed the historic town of Lahaina and left thousands of people homeless in what's being described as the worst natural disaster in Hawaii's history. On Thursday, President Biden issued a major disaster declaration for the state, freeing up federal funds. CNN reports the fire in Maui is now the second deadliest blaze in the United States in a century, trailing only the 2018 campfire in California, which killed 85 people. And the death toll in Maui is expected to rise as search crews reach areas destroyed by the fast-moving fires. Hospitals are overwhelmed with burn patients. Power and cell service remains out for much of the area. Authorities say the fire destroyed all the buildings in the historic section of Lahaina, which once served as the capital of the Hawaiian Kingdom. Hawaii's Governor Josh Green says it looks like a bomb went off in the town. Later in the show, we'll speak to two Native Hawaiian activists in Maui, but we begin with a horrifying account from a man from Fresno, California, named Wise Fonse Lincoln, who survived the fire by racing into the ocean with his wife and five children. The family was visiting Lahaina for dinner when they got trapped by the fire. We tried to make our way back, but we, we couldn't. We got stuck. We tried to come back. Uh, we ended up in Front Street, my family and I, and, and it was just black smoke coming above us, and traffic was stuck. Uh, we were right there uh, by the seawall, by Bubble Gump, I believe, and um, it got really real when we saw the flames. And I had to think fast. Uh, we had to get out. We left our vehicle. And my, my, myself, my wife, and our five kids, we all got in the ocean. Uh, we found a floating board that we hung on to. And we think we're, we're out there floating, and this is so surreal. And the, everything was burning around, explosions, cars blowing up. Like, embers was flying, just, just, we couldn't breathe. We, wouldn't, no, just, just, we couldn't breathe, there's no air, it's just the carbon monoxide. And, and we held on as best as we could. My, my, my wife, my kids, my older ones helped with the younger ones, and we, we tried to stick out the ground. The waves was trying to take us out to the ocean. We had to come back. There were some locals that helped us, too, that were with us. They're really great people. These people are amazing. And um, we were out for three hours, and we, we, we hung on to the seawall as best as we could until we found the little cove area where we were about for an hour. Um, with I, uh, two of the locals were with us and my family. I, I found some sheet metal to cover them because there was just still fire all around us. And embers were flying out. I would cover, cover them and cover myself as best as I could. At about 9.30 p.m., um, the fire came to rescue us. And, and we walked through the town, the little corridor they made, and everything was just burned. Um, everything was destroyed. And yeah, we were at the, the uh, shelter for that night. The final fight, um, it's, it's survival. My journey was rushing, it's just, it had to calm down. I, I, I worked in the ER for 15 years. You gotta help, uh, you gotta have to take a deep breath, you gotta do this. You know, um, we did, my kids were amazing, they, they were really good. Uh, so a few points, my daughter, my little girl, is like, Daddy, you okay, Daddy? My other ones, my wife, we, we, we will be, we can, we'll be okay. They got us, you know, and they're really stuck, tired, exhausted. And, and, and so far, you know, this ocean almost swept my kids away a few times. But, but yeah, we we, um, we we stuck together. We, we held on. And, uh, we, uh, we're not going to die this way. No. And then we, we're here. We're alive. That was we say Fonse Lincoln, who survived the fire in Maui by racing into the ocean with his wife and five children.